What is going on guys, Harry here and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you are new to my YouTube channel and you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you do enjoy this video, please leave it a thumbs up, it does mean a lot to me. But in today's video, we're going to be looking at my game week 205 and then looking forward to this week's game week 206. Final weekend before international break, the dreaded international break. Yeah, let's get into... Game week 205, there's a lot to go over. Um, yeah, expect an emotional Harry right now because I have been shafted massively. So yeah, we had five teams in the running this week, uh, this midweek. So first of all, we're going to look at Challenger Europe D4. Yeah, I'm just absolutely gutted, to be honest. As you can see, 90th. 335.6 Ah oh, guys, I just can't even I can't even look at him anymore My golden Portuguese child, I cannot look at him We'll start at the top here But I have got a clean sheet against Inter Milan I was sceptical of him even starting the game Because Trubin, the young keeper for Shakhtar Is back, he was on the bench He was on the bench on the weekend uh, Prior to this midweek game In the Ukrainian league So I... I was expecting him to start. I really didn't think Batayev would start. He ended up starting and getting a clean sheet, which was... I didn't even imagine that that would be possible against Inter Milan. But yeah, he did it. 65.9 points. Yeah, kicked me off really nicely. And then the Zenit boys. Douglas Santos assist. Clean sheet. 100. 126.5. Perfect score from him. He's been due 100 for a while. His... His uh yeah his last five scores have been a joke to be fair yeah it was just nice seeing him you know hit a hundred um, and then Wendell as well eighty nine I don't think he misplaced a pass I saw a stat on Twitter I think he completed sixty six of sixty six passes which is incredible um, and he topped it off with a goal he scored in the ninety fourth minute which was very much needed because as you can see as Moon had thirty one points. And that is because he didn't start the game. They went with Dezuba up front with Malcolm and Claudinho. Yeah, disappointing to be honest. Um, I know he's you know been injured and stuff, but I, I thought he would have started this game. Um, the good news is I guess Dezuba didn't score, so hopefully this weekend he starts as Moon. But yeah, disappointing 31. I, looking back, I didn't really have many other options to play in this position. I could have put Ezekiel Ponce in there. He ended up getting like 34, so it wouldn't have really mattered much. But, yeah, nonetheless, very disappointing. Um, but I was still in it. I think I, was on a th I think I was on 318 points before Diego Leite had an absolute Western Supermare. Um, yeah, penal penalty conceded in the first half. Brings his decisive score to 15. He ends up with a 16. Braga end up winning the game 3-1. They were 1-0 down. Yeah, no decisive in terms of goal or assist from him. Absolute stinker. I'm I'm fuming. I'm actually fuming. This was the first week in a while where I've had four players played over 300. Um, 318 in this case. And then Diego Leite ends up conceding a penalty. Oh my god. How is your luck? Um, this game is so frustrating at times, but yeah, I think top 71 got prizes, um, 350 was the score, I think, for that. Um, we can have a look here. Yeah, just massively disappointing, to be fair. Like, even if I would have, you know, top 50, um, and then top 71 got, yeah, so I was, I was 14 points off. I would have automatically got over 350 if Leite just play, you know, just started the game and didn't give a penalty away, you know. But yeah, he gave a penalty away. It is what it is. We pick ourselves up and we go again this weekend. D3 champion Europe. Anthony Lopez clean sheet. Didn't don't even think he had to make a save. Uh, Leo Dubois 70 88.8 .8 with the uh, super rare bonus. Real good score without any decisives. Lorenzo Pellegrini played 70 minutes but no decisives, which is frustrating. 55 with the captain's bonus. Patrick Schick didn't start the game. This is becoming a regular occurrence now where they're, they're starting Lucas Alario up front um, in the Europa... Or I don't even... Yeah, I think it's Europa League for, for Bayer Leverkusen. So, yeah, Schick, 35.75. 
Moussa Diaby did start the game, but again, even though they scored four Bayern, Moussa Diaby, you know, you know, wasn't among the goals and assists. So another disappointing week there in Champions Europe. No Messi card, uh, no prize card for us. D3 under 23s. This was my throwaway team. I knew Toblason wouldn't start. Genk ended up losing 3 0. Heavy, heavy defeat there. Divine Wrench was on the bench for Ajax against Besiktas. Didn't see any playing time. Pedrinho, you know, 0 0. No decisives available in this game, but 47 was, you know, respectable. Um, Yorbe actually came off the bench and scored, uh, which was nice to see against Strum Grads. Um, and Ricardo Pepe scored as well against FC, uh, sorry, FC, 4, four FC Dallas against Kansas City. Um, yeah, 74 with the captain's bonus. These three are decent scores, you know. If these t two players play, then, you know, you're not winning big prizes, but you're in with a chance. D3 All-Stars, this was another frustrating team. So we had Pataev again in goals. I ended up going with one super rare because I didn't believe uh, Nuro Fortuna would play because he hasn't been in any of the squads recently. And yeah, I just didn't expect him to come out of the blue. But you know what happened. He came out of the blue and hit a 63. Um, and I own his super rare card. So I could have actually put uh, Norito super rare in here and he would have got me 50 more points, uh, which is frustrating. Um, but yeah, we went with Samataria. Um, he, had a, he hit 100 last game, but this game he hits 30. So yeah, that wasn't great. Daniel Saloy last night, two goals, 93. Um, perfect captain choice. Hit a 120 altogether. Yeah, Tronstad, decent game from him, but but nothing crazy. No no decisives. Um, and then Odilion actually was, wasn't a starter for this game. Maybe they rested him for the weekend, I hope. But the player that played it instead of him actually scored. So yeah, I don't know how that you know, does for his uh, chances of playing this weekend. And then D4, we ended up getting the first threshold, 230 points. Chesney, clean sheet. Dodo, respectable 46.8. Yeremi Pino, respectable 50 with no decisives. Um, Ezekiel Pond started the game for Spartak and ended up having to come off injured 45 minutes into the game, which is, again, really frustrating after I just bought him. And then Mykon, um, expected probably a better score from him, but it was enough to get me the first threshold, which is all I'm walking away with recently um, for the last month or so. But yeah, disappointing game week on the whole. I would have loved to have got, got a card out of Challenger Europe. And I was, was you know, unlucky-ish on, on D3 um, Global as well with not playing Fortuna and obviously a, a DMP with Odilion, but it happens. Uh, let's get into game week 206. Um, sorry if this video is stupidly long. But yeah, let's get into these teams. I'll show you my rookie league team first. I don't possess the best common cards. Um, so yeah, so this is my team. Not much to say really. I'm not, I don't really care about the rookie league too much. It would be nice to win a decent prize that I, you know, maybe a, a, an under 23 goalkeeper or whatever it is, you know, just something. Okay, first we'll get into D4 Global. We're going with Chesney and goals away to Torino. We're going with Sandy Walsh at home, uh, captain. We're going with Adilion. I do think he starts this weekend, but I'm not like 100% sure. No one can be 100% sure. So he's going in the D4 team. We're going with Kevin Paredes. He's my only decent enough midfielder, really, that's eligible to play and, and, and will play. The rest, I'm, uh, I've got Jonas Hoffman, to be fair, but I think he's injured right now. Bakayev is injured as well, I think. Um, so yeah, not many other options. And then we've got two of Ekin up front. Again, I don't think he'll start, um, so I'm expecting a really low score from this team. So I'll show you my, I will show you Global D3 next. So we're going with Anthony Morris in goals away to uh, to Bruges. It'd be a tough game. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a clean sheet, but I also wouldn't be surprised if he conceded three. Fabian Balbuena at home to Samara. Sandre Tron Tronstad in midfield. Super rare versus Feyenoord. It's going to be a tough game. I expect him to be busy, though. Breaking up play, interceptions, tackles, all that sort of stuff. I'm not expecting a decisive, but a nice 60 um, base score would be nice. You know, and then it, that turns into to 80, really, doesn't it, with the super rare bonus. Then we're going with Mama Thiam. Uh, they're at home to Trandon Sport, who are a decent team. But I wouldn't be surprised if he nicks a penalty or some sort of assist in that game. And then Daniel Soloy, the man on fire, just got called up to the hungry team again uh, for the qualifiers. They're playing against Houston Dynamo at home. I expect another big performance from him. Next, we will go into global under 23. So I'll show you my D3 first. 
I'm not sure if Etienne Green is even eligible for this weekend. I've asked a few people, but I've not got any replies yet because he did get red carded the game before last. Um, but they're away to, to Leon, which is going to be a tough game. Uh, but I'm throwing him in there just in case he does play. We're going with Diogo Lotte. Um, yeah, after tonight's performance, I'm not a massive fan of this guy um, conceding that penalty. But they're at home to Boa Vista. I'm captain in him. I, you know, I still have <laughs> a little bit of faith in him. We're going with Florentino Luis in midfield at home to Real Sociedad. Jeremy Pino at home to Real Betis. And Ricardo Pepe at home to Minnesota. If Etienne Green plays, this team could score decently well. This isn't my strongest under-23s team, but I do I do fancy them all to play. Like I said, Green's the only exception to that, but we'll, we'll definitely see about that. Under-23, D4, this is my strongest team for D4 this week. We're going with Alban Lafont in goal. They're at home to Troyes. I'm praying for a clean sheet. Melvin Bard at home to Stad Brest. Be a tough game, but I do fancy him to get me another clean sheet. Arsene and Wendell in midfield. I don't understand what more you'd want from a Russian midfield right now, especially under 23s. Dynamo at home, Wendell at home to Sochi. Captain. And then we're going with Musa Diaby away to BM field. Hoping he gets a, a decisive this week. He's him and him and Schick have been pretty low on goals recently, so that would be nice for them to, to contribute. But yeah, this is on paper a top, top under 23s team. Um it could completely fumble or it could you know it could hit a really high you know 380s 390s you just don't know that is the uncertainty with so rare with football there's no guarantees um, but yeah really excited to see how that gets on just before the international break then we're going to go into our champion europe d3 team we've got anthony lopez and leo dubois like i said away to saint etienne i'm hoping for a leon clean sheet here um saint etienne have been really poor of late we're going with the Roma stack of Lorenzo Pellegrini and Brian Cristiante at home to Empoli. Yeah, I'm hoping these two play really well, to be honest. Lorenzo Pellegrini was, you know, pretty quiet tonight. Brian actually got an assist. He ended up hitting a 92 tonight. Um, of course, I played him in my training team because I thought he would get rested for the weekend game. But he played. He got an assist. Um, yeah, happens. But yeah, and then we're going with Patrick Schick up front. We're keeping faith with him. I think there'll be goals in this game, and I'm hoping he's amongst them. But yeah, Champion Europe is always tough in terms of you know the the scores you need to get just to even compete. But um, yeah, two more teams. We are entering D5 for the first time. Um, I've bought a little team to compete in Challenger Europe. I think the team cost me four hundred pounds. That's British pounds to yeah to make. Uh, we're going with Hubert. Ratitsky, Mercier, and Domp and Vossen up front. They're all decent players. You know, they, they could all score very, very high on their day. Let's just hope this weekend is their day. Um, you know, fixtures are decent. Nothing screams out to me. But, you know, like I said, on their day, these guys could, could score very highly. So, yeah, looking forward to that. And if I do win a prize, I will give away uh, the tier, whatever I win, limited card. If I do win a limited card uh, to one of you guys watching... Um, so make sure you're following me on Twitter because I'll probably do the giveaway on there. And yeah, make sure you like the video as well. But yeah, I will be giving away one or if I win a limited card in, in D5 um, to one of the one of you guys watching for, for your support. And and yeah, your your continuation of watching me moan every week about my Sora lineups not doing what they're supposed to do. But yeah, our last team, Challenger Europe D3, probably my favorite team on paper. Again, I've had a conundrum again. I, I'm not 100% sure what's happening with these two at Dynamo. Le, uh, Lezcek's played the last two games because Shunin's been injured. Lezcek has made two, well, I've had two clean sheets. He's played really well. I'm just hoping he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hoping he starts this weekend because I'm going with him. Super rare. We're going with Douglas Santos, captain at home to Sochi. Daniel Fomin at home to Samara. Um, obviously, same team as uh, Lezcek. Yeah, Fumin got a, a decisive last week. He did score a goal. I'm hoping he can carry that on this week and get me a really nice score. We're going with Xavier Messier um, at home to Beershot, who have been really poor recently. We're going with Asmoon up front. I'm I'm scared he's not going to start, to be honest. Um, but I'm, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go with my gut. I, I have a feeling something's going to happen where... I don't know, they, they dropped Zuba or something. I, I don't know. But I, I do feel like 
uh, as Moon will start the game. But yeah, this is on paper probably equally up there with with my my under twenty three D four team and um, and probably my Champions Europe team on, on paper. But we all know football isn't played on paper. But yeah, those are my teams for this weekend's game week. Um, I'm super excited for the games. I hope you are too. I'm dreading international break like you guys are, I imagine. But yeah, frustrating, frustrating midweek. But like I said, we do pick ourselves back up. We go again. Um, and yeah, let's just bring on the football, guys. So yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.